It's Friday, May 17th. Our troop brings home a busload of awards, seniors begin their final week of school with an award ceremony, and what was your favorite memory of the year? All of this and more on this edition of The Stinger On Air. Good morning, Jackets. I'm Tabitha Thompson, and welcome back to The Stinger On Air. In our top story this week, the Buford JROTC archery team took their bows and arrows to Kentucky last week and brought home more than they took with them. We wanted to take first place. We didn't take first place. We lost first place by 10 points. Sergeant Carlos Marcano is proud of his archery team. They competed in the Eastern National Archery Competition in Kentucky last week, and while they didn't finish in first, they did find success. We shot bullseye, which everyone did outstanding. Um, Ms. Abigail shot, of course, everybody knows, 295. They got the top three, the top three females out of 149. That's what we received. It was Emma, um, Morgan, and Abigail. They did great. Winner with a score of 295 with 25 tens from Buford High School, Lancaster, South Carolina, Ab Abigail Conwell. <laughs> Abigail Conwell was grand champion, and Buford High is the top Army JROTC school. One, two, two, three, three! We lost first place by 10 points, but I know we're going to get it next time. But everybody enjoyed themselves. We got to um, learn a lot, um, dealt with uh, about 34 schools from different parts of the United States, and 300 people competed in this exercise. They have worked very hard to get here, and we are happy and proud to have such a good team. BHS seniors have begun the wind down of their high school career. Today, they're traveling to Carowinds for their senior picnic, and next week, seniors will participate in the traditional senior walk at the elementary and middle schools. But it was the beginning of the end on Monday with the senior award ceremony. Editor-in-chief and senior Lainey Cawthon has the story. We are very proud of each of you and all of your hard work that has gotten you to this point. I'm thankful for your willingness to grow and seek out all of the opportunities across your four years here at BHS. This past Wednesday, seniors were recognized for their academic and athletic achievements. Graduation cords and medals were given to students during the senior awards ceremony. Quiet way in how they go about their business each and every day. And I cannot be more proud of this young lady Individ the individual that she's grown into. And I look forward to the great things that await her and also all the great things that she'll tackle in life with the same rigor that she has the last two years. Carly Mountain was given the Jacket Pride Award. Congratulations to all the students recognized. For Stinger On Air, I'm Lainey Cawthon. Thanks, Lainey. Last week, the Be Pro, Be Proud SC truck was on campus to give students an opportunity to have some hands-on experience in the career field. Stinger On Air's Lauren Fail has more. Last week, Buford students had the chance to take a close look at the technology and simulations on the Be Pro Be Proud truck. A custom designed military grade double expandable semi trailer loaded with hands on simulators of a variety of skilled trades, including welding, truck driving, heavy equipment operation, diesel technician, lineman, and more. We have inside the mobile workshop are simulators for the kids to try different technical careers, whether it's truck driving, forklifts, welding. Um, we have VR goggles as well. Alicia from Be Pro Be Proud tells us about the Be Pro Be Proud SC.org site as well as the benefit of using the site. I have a website called Be Pro Be Proud SC.org. This website gives you information about the different professions and where to find training. The cool thing about this website is you can click View Profession and you can watch a short video to see what they do day in and day out. You can also see salary ranges. If you keep scrolling, you can also find the job app for the state. All right, it's going to show you job openings and expected role. As well as find training. Find training is going to show you the closest technical college that will provide that training. Alicia says the truck is a great asset for a state and offers a lot of hands-on opportunities for students. Because we have to show kids what they have and what opportunities they have. I'm outside of that four year and outside of that military, right? We know it. Every student don't want to go to a four-year, and that's okay, right? But they can still be successful going to a technical college and um, making great money and still be able to provide for their families. For Stinger on Air, I'm Lauren Fell. 
Today, underclassmen will have the opportunity to vote on student body and specific class officers for next year. Candidates were asked to submit a campaign video. Hannah, Emma, Mackenzie, what are y'all running for? My name is Hannah, and I'm running for student body president. My name is Emma, and I'm running for the senior class president. My name is Mackenzie, and I'm running for the senior class vice president. Smart, hardworking, dedicated. They're who you want to run your school. Vote for us May 17th. Vote for them! <laughs> this video is endorsed by Ms. Herndon. Hi everyone, my name is Peyton Shea and I'm running for the 2024-2025 school year junior class vice president. Vote for me. Hi, my name is Emma Kate and I think I'd be great for senior vice president, so vote for me on May 17th. Hi, my name is Andy Stevens and I'm running for sophomore vice president. Vote for me. I'm Creighton Bradley and I'm running for student body president. Make sure to vote for me on May 17th. Hey, I'm Paige Walters, and I'm running for student body treasurer. Vote for me. Hey, everybody. I'm Maddie Edwards, and I'm in Suco. I'm running for junior class president, so be sure to vote for me. You need someone you can trust to show up and fulfill the duties with diligence and integrity. That's why you should vote me, Savannah for treasurer. Hey, Jackets. My name is Tabitha Thompson, and I'm running for the student body student faculty liaison. What that means is I would encourage cooperation among student council and keep everyone up to date with our affairs. On top of that, I'm also running for junior class secretary and historian. Vote for me. My name is Jaden Reed and I'm running for Stuco president. Why am I running for this position? It's because I think I can help by making sure the things you guys want and need are communicated to the teachers. You guys are the school and I represent you. I'll run the extra mile. I'll put in the extra work. I'll even put in the extra hours. I mean, seriously, just ask my bro Donald. It's time to make Buford great again, and Jaden wants to help make that happen. So what was your favorite memory of the 2023-2024 school year? We hit the street to find out. I decided to ask you your favorite things from this year. I think that was... What was your favorite thing from this school year? Probably Blow using an egg bathroom. Blowing up that egg bathroom, bro. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it came in clutch so many times. <laughs> yeah, it is like a clutch toilet. What was your favorite thing from this school year? I'd say if I was able to help out in the egg anyway. Uh. Why are you this kid? There's <laughs> a trash can in the urine. Okay. <laughs> um, probably the agriculture class. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Collier's class. Actually, yeah, Mr. Collier's class. What is your favorite thing about this school year? My favorite thing about the school year was getting to start this new job here in the library. It's been really fun getting to work with students, Chromebooks, and books. All three things that I love. Miss Herberger. Miss Herberger's class is very interesting. Why is it so zoomed in? Oh my god. Just lock on. She got this. Oh yeah, this is an oh interrogation god. right here. <laughs> next semester. Should I say next semester? No, or next year. <laughs> Mouse. It's really illiterate. Yeah. So this wraps up season two of Stinger on Air. It has been a great ride so far, and we have great plans for season three. We can't wait to see you next year. For Stinger on Air, I'm Tabitha Thompson. But before we leave you, we wanted to say a very special thanks to school board trustee Courtney Green for your enthusiastic support. It's taken a lot to get us to this point, and our staff wanted to take a minute to thank everyone who's helped us purchase equipment over the last two years. Thank you. 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 It's Friday, May 19th. Seniors last week is a bit. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, that's
That's all for this week's Staying Around the Street with Caitlin Newton and Emily Benton. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It looks, you can barely see it. Good morning, Jackets. I'm Taylor Green. Welcome back to the Stinger on Air. Thank you. Thank you.